Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and that is a Liberty Electric trike, as in three wheels, okay? It's about 1500 bucks, and I'll leave a link to libertyelectrictrikes.com in the description of this video. But I just wanted to do a short video. Some of you guys have had some questions about it. This bike it, trike is foldable. You just take a pin out there, and it'll fold up. Or you can actually take it apart. You, you'd have to unplug the, the wire there, but there's a plug. And you can unplug that and take it into two complete, two, two separate pieces. So for you travelers, uh, it'll work. I've, I've hauled it in my RV, I mean in the storage thing, and I've also hauled it in the back of my Chevy uh, Spark and my Chevy's Bolt now. And it, it fits fine. When you, you have to, uh, you can either take it apart or fold it, either way. But anyway, got a front basket. It also came with a rear basket, mine did. But I took the rear basket off because when it was empty, it rattled a little bit, so I took it off. You know, this seat is really easy to adjust. You just loosen a little thing and you can raise it up and down. And that seat is comfortable. Okay, it's not bad, not bad, not bad. But anyway, if you put the green slime in the tires, you won't have any problem with flats. And you can get it on Amazon. Uh, it's really inexpensive. And you put about four ounces in each one of those tires and uh, they're good to go i haven't had i had one uh, flat when i was two years ago and since i put that green slime in i have none and uh, this is the front basket why do i have a towel in there well because sometimes i take some water or my extra foam and i put it in, on that towel so it doesn't bounce around too much and that this thing comes off this thing this basket comes off real easy so you could just hand carry it into the grocery store or whatever and then come back and, and put it right back on the trike uh, this is the battery in the back back here. It just slides in and out. You you uh, turn the key off, pull it out, and then this battery, you unplug the battery from that cable right there, and then the battery just slides out, and it comes with a charger. How long does it take to charge it? I don't know, four hours. It depends on how low the battery is. How far will it go? It depends on what you're driving. If you're driving in the mountains of Colorado, probably not too far. But if you're driving in the flatlands like I am here at Fort Clark Springs, because we're fixing to go right down this trail right here in just a second, but, uh, you know, you can go pretty far. You probably go 20 miles. How fast will it go? Uh, anywhere 10 to 12 miles an hour. Uh, is that fast enough? Fast enough for me. I mean, you, you can go all over anywhere to check your mail or, check, you know, get some groceries or run some errands or just ride around in the neighborhood. And that's pretty much what I do. And, uh, yeah, as far as maintenance, basically nothing. Every now and then you need to oil the chain. And uh, you get that dry oil stuff and just spray it on there while you turn the wheels. Pretty easy to do. Uh, maybe once a year, twice a year, whatever you think you need to do. And then this is your infotainment <laughs> or information deal here. And it shows right now that we've got, uh, let me, got a little dust on it here. Uh, it's got, uh, it's full, the battery's full. This is the battery level. And then this is the speed and this shows how far you've been. It shows 84.4 miles. And I'm not, this is my, hell, I think my third uh, Liberty Electric trike. And, but anyway, it's also got reverse. Yeah, you just push this little button in and it'll go backwards and then you push it again and it pops out and then you go forward and it comes with a, you, a mirror, you know, and this is the front brake right here. And uh, what else? Uh, this is how you turn the, the, deal, the, the screen on and off right here. And this is how you increase the power. I'll, this is like level, I always leave it on level five and then that way I can just add or decrease the power as I need. And this is the throttle right here. You just turn this. And, and away you go, you know what I mean? And it's front wheel drive, okay? And and I, I had one that had the, uh, uh, what do you call it, pedal assist, you know, where as you pedal it would assist you. I didn't like that at all. I, I like to be able to add power as I need it. Uh, this way you can either pedal uh, the bike for exercise or just use the throttle and go for an electric uh, trike ride, okay? So anyway, let me put on my sunglasses and we'll take a little drive down my trail here this morning. Why? Because I want to. Or for no other reason. But again, it's Liberty Electric Trike, about 1500 bucks. If you use the code RUSTY50 at checkout, uh, you'll get a $50 discount, okay? And so do that. Or if, if you forget the code, just remember RUSTY, or the channel RUSTY78609, and just tell them, and they'll, they'll still give you the discount. And they have sales all throughout the year. Uh, you know, they're good folks. I, I've been dealing with them for two or three years now. Got a little wind here, but we'll get out of it when we get in the trees. Here we go. Anyway, this trail, this is a walking trail here mainly, but you can see, God, we, 
A lot of people here are retired and they use golf carts, so they ride down these trails and for a trike, see, and I've mentioned this before in videos, that front wheel is going to be on that center mound there, so I kind of have to go along the side so that I don't have that front wheel bouncing up and down because of that. But anyway, I, uh, I usually cruise along here at about, I don't know, four or five miles an hour, a little faster than walking speed maybe, and uh, just for the hell of it, why? It, it's a nice area. It's a pretty area to cruise. And uh, sometimes you'll see deer and all kind of stuff. But for me, what do I use this electric trike for? Well, for this that I'm doing right now, just taking a cruise out here in the brush in the woods. And uh, also every now and then I just take a ride through the neighborhood, you know, just to check it out and see, you know, what's going on. You know, if somebody's built a new home or what's, you know, just, just curiosity. You know, we're, we are curious, you know, curiosity killed the cat, but it probably killed a few humans too for that matter. But yeah, you can see we're cruising along about three miles, well, two or three miles an hour right now. And uh, the reason is this, this road has a lot of rocks in it. In fact, what I'll do, I'll turn around and we'll go get on the, uh, uh, we'll go get on the pavement and get a better picture. Because I have to go really slow here. Well, not, well, yeah, you do. You have to go pretty slow here. And uh, here we go. It may be a little wind in the mic for since we're going to go out here. Uh, I don't have a, I do have an external mic, but it doesn't work worth a crap. You know, I've tried two or three different kinds and, and uh, you know, they, they still get wind. They still do the wind, but just bear with me. It's not going to be that bad. It'll be painless. You can also drive these things in grocery stores if you choose to, you know, like a, an assisted thing, you know, and uh, because they're only like 22 inches wide and, uh, you know, there's people that are twice that wide, okay? And so, yeah, I, I have never have I ever driven it in a grocery store. No. Why? Because I don't need to. So let's go down this street here. This is a retirement neighborhood, so you're going to see like these buildings here with, with an RV under them. And uh, some of them are vacant because they're not here yet. A lot of snowbirds, people from up north come here. This is in southwest Texas. And, uh, and it's designed for that uh, group, pretty much. Uh, this is a Fort, Fort Clark Springs. It was built in 1850. And it's really a great place to live for being, you know, being retired. Why? Well, because, it, as you can see, there's nothing, nothing happening. You know what I mean? You, know, you can ride your trike uh, all over. You, know, you can ride your trike all over the fort. Uh, you can ride your trike in the city of Brackettville, of the little town, 1,600 population next door. Uh, you can go to the, the post office there. There are, there's no home delivery for mail here, so you, you everybody has a P.O. box, and uh, but you can drive all over Brackettville, and they won't say a word in a golf cart or uh, one of these. But we'll cruise. We'll make a little circle here, and you can see the neighborhood. But the main thing I wanted you to know, see, we're going about six miles an hour now. And uh, that's about two times walking speed. And, you know, you, you know, a lot of people always want to know how fast they go. Can you go off-road in them and all that stuff? Well, you know, if you want to go, you know, out in the rough, you're probably going to need something else. But if you're just going to take a cruise and, uh, you know, enjoy your life, I mean, every now and then I'll take a beer with me and go somewhere and stop and have a little toddy and then come back to the house if I can find it. And, uh, yeah, but you can see these, these buildings here. These are all metal buildings and uh, RVs under them, or used to be. There's this one for sale here. They, they want 125000 for that one right here. I know we're in the wind. I know we're in the wind. Right here. How are you doing this morning? Hi. Metal yes, ma'am. Hi, how about you? <laughs> yeah, I'm showing off. <laughs> Well, is this the one that's for sale right here? Well, they want 125,000 for it. 140? Well, they're not gonna get it from me. <laughs> Good luck. Say that again. One around the corner sold for 150,000. And I could have bought one right over here for 50. Yeah. Did he sell it? Well, anyway, I uh, I was going to buy it for fifty thousand just as an investment, and then I I thought, hell, I don't want another headache, you know. I know. Because I'm not going to.
because it needed it needed some repairs and stuff. But anyway, I'm glad he sold it, and I, and I hope these people get a good price because. Do you live in this section here? You live here? Uh -huh. Oh, good. Right oh, you live right here? Uh -huh. What a beautiful place. Well, thank you. That's me. It really is nice. Show off. <laughs> <laughs> look at me. Look at me. You know. Anyway, well, enjoy your day. You too. Keep your health. Yeah, I do too. It's a lot of fun just to cruise around on it. Yeah. And I had a golf cart. I paid twelve thousand dollars for a golf cart with a lithium battery, Yamaha, and, and I bought it last year when I was here. I kept it one month and sold it. And why did I do that? Well, because I found out I'd ride in the cart and wouldn't do my walking. Okay. And I, and I I want I want to exercise. So yep. on this thing, I, I ride it every now and then just for the fun of it. But. Yeah, but the golf cart, it's neat. Yeah, it's neat. Anyway, enjoy your day. You too. Adios. Okay. Goodbye, dog. He said bye. That's a beautiful place she's got there. No kidding. Yeah, I'll show you the one I was going to buy. Actually, I, I, I had already bought it, basically. And then I couldn't communicate with the seller. Something happened, so I kind of gave up on it. But yeah, this is it right here. It's a good deal. It was, God, you know, they're selling them for 150 and I wouldn't spend 50 Hello. Well, you know, every now and then you do something dumb. <laughs> dumb and dumber. I, I've got two personalities, dumb and dumber. You know what I mean? But anyway, guys, this is Rusty on his electric trike, Liberty electric trike. And uh, yeah, if you, if you do decide you want something like this to go cruising around your neighborhood in or whatever, uh, take with you on your... It with your in your RV when you travel, uh, yeah, just use Rusty 50 at the checkout, and you get 50 bucks off, or, or else just tell them, you know, tell them you watched it at Rusty 78609. They'll take care of you. Yeah, they're good people. I've dealt with them for a few years. The owner's name is Jason, nice guy, and uh, yeah, they're, and you know the speed of the engine is the speed of the caboose, as you both all know. And if you have any warranty issues, they'll take care of you. So anyway, guys. Let me stop here and I'll end this video. So ending it with, with that in mind, here at Fort Clark Springs, Texas, on a nice day, about 70 degrees, thumbs up, carpe diem, carpe diem means seize the day in Latin, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want anytime, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind, very important, adios amigos, bye bye.